Check out my new horses, guys. It's not really mine, I'm just kidding. It's the neighbor's horses. And uh, I don't know how many horses are gonna keep here, but we made an arrangement that they're gonna be keeping some horses in our, our paddock. They're big. How you doing guys? Chad here. Thanks for tuning in to my channel and thanks for tuning in to this episode of Chronicles of a Farmstay Startup here at the Hidden Spring Farm. Today's a little comical guys. You know why? Molly here, our old English sheepdog pup, she meets the horses for the first time. Now they're not our horses guys so don't get your hopes up but they will be here for the summer. And they're out in the pasture over there, the horse paddock. And uh, I introduced Molly to him. And it's slightly funny, you know, <laughs> she's never met horses before. She's never met an animal that big before. And uh, it's a little bit funny to see her reaction. So stay tuned for that a little bit later, okay? But first, How you doing, Elvis? Ah, uh, you having a little less conversation? Ah, uh, Elvis, you having a little less conversation with your roadies? See the chicken? <laughs> I 
I must say, all our chickens are doing awesome. Awesome. Look at these three roadies here with Elvis. They're doing great. They're giving me nice white eggs every day. I got all these birds. Now, my wife and I are going to turn these into meat birds and we're going to fill our freezer with food this year. It's going to be the first time we're doing it. I'm sure I'll document the whole thing. And uh, these aren't really the typical meat bird that you would grow. A lot of people use like rangers or Cornish crosses or something, but these are just um, Rhode Islands. And we're going to turn them into meat birds and uh, it's going to feed us for probably a really long time. Whoa. And probably feed the pets too, because Molly loves chicken. What are you doing? You're eating the chicken poop again? So we're really looking forward to that process. And uh, I already have uh, what do they call it? A feather plucker. I already have one of those on order. They're pretty expensive. It's like a thousand dollars. But I'm hoping it'll last me a lifetime and I got an industrial size plucker which is supposed to be good for chickens, turkeys, geese, ducks. So it's not just a little tiny thing that if I ever want to do turkey or a bigger bird in the future that I'm gonna have to buy another unit. This, this unit that I purchased is gonna last for a while. Molly, where's the kittens? Where's the kittens? Are they out hunting? Truman, guys. 
Truman. I don't know what the other one's names are. They told me, but I forgot. Truman. I'm scared to touch him. I'm such a weenie. What if he bites my hand? The hay, Truman? Is that good alfalfa hay? Molly, you'll be good. And the sheepdog's going wild. The old English sheepdog's running down the horses. She's herding the horses. She's herding them real good. She is a herding dog after all. The old English sheepdog is circling the horses. She's circling them real good. She's herding them all right. She's never done this much herding in all her life. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The horses are realizing it's just a dog. The horses are realizing it's just a dog. The horses are now chasing the sheepdog. The sheepdog's turning on the jets. Oh, she got away. Aren't they majestic looking beings? Holy jumping. I know one of their names is Truman. Uh, she, they told me the other names I forgot already. There's four of them right now. There's supposed to be more coming. I don't know how to call them over here. <laughs> the horses are right here and Molly's right there. Molly's watching them. Molly's like, what do I do? Dad, what do I do? Do I hurt them? But uh, I want Molly to learn that this fence is electrified, so she's already got zapped once. I heard her yelp, and I don't want her to keep getting zapped, obviously, but uh, she needs to learn that those are, those are owie. Touch those wires, it's owie. Let's see if we can get closer. Truman. Truman. How are you, buddy? Truman. Molly, what are you doing? Don't freak out the horses. Guys, I'm right here. I'm right beside him. Oh, Molly just freaked out. <laughs> Molly just went under the fence. <laughs>
to get zapped. I'm telling you. <laughs> chicken. Hey, Molly, you're chicken. Truman. Eat the maple tree. That's not cool, bro. This is a maple tree. It could be a sugar maple. You're gonna make maple syrup out of that one day. Molly, horses are a lot faster than you, you know. <laughs> You're gonna get zapped. Molly, they don't even care that you're here, you know. Give them a kiss, see what happens. The wind really picked up. It's a bit nippy actually. It was fine earlier, but man, anyway, hopefully it doesn't ruin the audio too much. Smokey's here keeping me company, look guys. Isn't he a sweetie? And I love these cats. I love all my pets. They're all pets to me. Anyways. Yeah, I think it's a little bit windy. Wind's picking up. See Molly with those horses, guys? She didn't know what to do. She didn't know what to do. First she was chasing them. Then she was running away from them. It was super funny. Oh man, she's a clown, that kid. I love her. <laughs> I think it'll be fun seeing the horses every now and then, eh guys? Oh, here's Stormy. <laughs> oh, I just heard the horses, did you hear that? That was a big neigh. I don't know what kind of sound they make. Never mind, I'm just an idiot. Anyways, that's it guys. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it.